Jeremy Paxman has declared he's prepared to try cannabis in a bid to fight his Parkinson's disease after being diagnosed last year. The broadcaster, 72, stars in a new ITV documentary, Paxman. Putting up with Parkinson's, where he meets Sharon Osbourne, whose husband Ozzy also suffers from the neurological condition, she discusses how the Black Sabbath star, also 73, uses cannabidiol, known as CBD, because, like Jeremy, he experiences unsettling dreams as a result of Parkinson's, before joking that she will sneak the substance through customs from the US. Jeremy Paxman has declared hell try cannabis in bid to fight his Parkinson's, with Sharon Osbourne joking Shell sneak the substance through customs for him. According to The Sun, she tells Jeremy. Ozzy was always on something, he always loved to dabble with the old drugs. But now he takes this stuff at night. What's this stuff that everybody smokes? It is something from that. Cannabidiol. It'll bring some over for you. You'll love. It'll bring it back for you. Jeremy. It'll probably get arrested coming through customs. But that's nothing new. The former Newsnight presenter jumps at the opportunity, declaring that he's on for it, with Sharon insisting he must try physiotherapy to get his A asterisk asterisk E in gear. Helping Hand, the broadcaster, 72, stars in a new ITV documentary where he meets Sharon Osbourne, pictured in September 2022, whose husband Ozzy also suffers from the condition. Jeremy announced last May that he had been diagnosed with the degenerative condition, but the University Challenge host then said remembering that many of his predecessors were dead by his age makes him feel as though he has been let off by getting the illness. Parkinson's, which affects 1 in 500 people, causes the brain to become damaged over the years. As a result, the former Newsnight host has since reflected on how he has been putting his conservative, wet Tory politics down to going gaga for years. Writing in Saga magazine, he said, When I was an irritating young gob on a stick, I used to argue that conservatism was brought about by loss of brain cells. Well known, Paxman presented the BBC's current affairs program, Newsnight, from 1989 to 2014, during which time he gained a reputation as a ferocious interviewer. For years now I have happily stood up at public events and declared that the reason I nowadays confess to being a wet Tory is entirely the consequence of going gaga. The moment when you can't recall your bank card pin is the reminder that everything comes at a price. Local radio to leading news night, Jeremy Paxman's career 1972, BBC Radio Brighton, 1986, BBC One's Breakfast Time, 1994, University Challenge Advertisement. I have been annoyed enough by Microsoft while putting down these paltry thoughts that I confess to pining for the days of typewriters when mistakes were mechanical rather than existential. Why do you persist in doing this to me? The screen always remains annoyingly indifferent. How marvelous it would be, just once, if it replied by asking what I really wanted it to do. But then I recall that by my age, most of my ancestors, a long line of illiterate peasants on both sides were dead. I've been let off lightly with Parkinson's. Jeremy has previously said that his symptoms are mild. He said back in May, I can confirm I have recently been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. I am receiving excellent treatment and my symptoms are currently mild. I plan to continue broadcasting and writing for as long as they'll have me and have written about my diagnosis in more detail for the June issue of the Marvelous Saga magazine. I will not be making any further comment. The presenter was seen out in Manchester last year using a walking stick after breaking his ribs in a horrifying fall during a dog walk. Born in Leeds, he started his career in 1972 on the BBC's graduate trainee program, working in local radio and reporting on the troubles in Belfast. Couple, she discusses how the Black Sabbath star, also 73, uses cannabidiol, known as CBD, because, like Jeremy, he experiences unsettling dreams as a result, pictured in 2020. Shortly after moving to London in 1977, he transferred from Tonight to Panorama, before stints on the 6 o'clock news and BBC One's breakfast time, he became a presenter of Newsnight in 1989, a position he would hold until June 2014 during which time he interviewed high-profile figures from politics and culture. After 25 years in the job, Jeremy presented a program including an interview with then-London Mayor Boris Johnson, while they both rode a tandem bicycle. Jeremy has also presented University Challenge since 1994, making him the longest-serving current quizmaster on UK TV. Last month the presenter looked frail as he used a walking stick in Manchester, just weeks after breaking his ribs in a horrifying fall during a dog walk. He leaned on the walking aid as he was escorted into the TV studios by a co-worker. After revealing he has suffered a nasty tumble when his dog Derek got startled by a squirrel and pulled on his lead.
He held on to a detective novel, The Searcher, by Tana French as he headed to work at University Challenge. Paxman, Putting Up with Parkinson's airs on ITV at 9pm on Tuesday.